So I'm here in uh, Dunkirk, France. A lot of people would have seen the movie and would have heard the story uh, connected to the uh, incredible act where the British troops were taken back and saved on different vessels and different boats, uh, bringing them back to the United Kingdom, uh, saving their lives um, from the war, uh, from the, during the Second World War. Uh, however, Dunkirk actually has a very personal meaning for me as well. Uh, my great uncle, my great grandmother's brother, uh, Solomon Fleischer, was a private in the British Army. Uh, he came uh, and was sent over here to fight uh, and to stand up uh, and do his part uh, in protecting his homeland, the United Kingdom at that time. And he sent a telegram to my great great grandparents, which he asked if anything ever happens, please remember me. Uh, sadly, Solomon was 20 years old uh, when he was killed. Uh, he was killed, we don't know exactly when or how. He was a private, so a very low ranking soldier. Um, and for me, it was very important that at some point in my life, I was able to actually show a memory to him, to, to come and give and pay my respects uh, to this member of my family uh, who fought in the British Army, uh, who fought for the Allies against the evil German Nazis during the Second World War. And coming here, you see just lists of names. You know, we know that 300,000 British troops or so about were saved as the result of the brave actions of Prime Minister Churchill in everything that he did. But we often forget and, and can be misled and not understanding that 68,000 British troops were murdered uh, and killed by the German Nazis uh, and their helpers. And when we actually come here, uh, again, we can see the list of names. Uh, and if you follow me around here, you'll see just one ball of names. Uh, and these are names of people the majority of whom were killed in 1940. It's a very long time ago. You know, these were people like my great uncle, Solomon Fleischer, who was killed uh, on the 17th of June, 1940. And if you just follow me and you look in over here, what we can see is quite amazing. Uh, in this list of names, when I went down to the bottom, I see here the name of my great uncle, S. Fleischer. Private S. Fleischer, uh, a member of my family uh, who died. And so, really, again, I'm traveling now uh, from London uh, back to Warsaw, Poland. I'm traveling by car. I'm going to be visiting a lot of these sites on the way. But for me to start at this site, at the place where a member of my family, who was almost but forgotten, gave his life fighting so valiantly against the German Nazis is a really important part also of my journey uh, and the journey of my foundation and from the depths and spurred me and gave me this opportunity to do what I do it was the opportunity to tell these stories and to make sure that really this history is never forgotten and individual men such as Solomon Fleischer my great uncle as he wrote to his parents my great great grandparents just a few months before he was murdered, that he never be forgotten. By this point, his grave, uh, the place of his burial is unknown. I'll leave a candle here and before I leave I'll place a stone as well. The stone being the symbolism, being the sign that Jews leave by cemeteries and by places of death, uh, of relatives and loved ones. A stone is a very important point uh, in Judaism and for me to start this journey here in Dunkirk at the place where my great uncle is remembered is something, you know, deeply moving and emotional. <laughs> 